This is Psalms 1. Um, I'm bringing this to you because literally over the last three weeks, you know, whatever that is, it's in your head that, you know, tells you to look into something. Um, finally had its way. I, I finally decided to go into the Psalms. And I've been trying to make sure that I articulate what I'm thinking well. Because um, this is, you know, as you know, it's a long book. Um, let's see if we can pick out some stuff here. Uh, blessed is the man who hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stood in the way of sinners, nor sat in the chair of pestilence. But his will is in the law of the Lord, and on his law will he meditate day and night. <clears throat> Verse 2 there. When I read that now, I think about um, what is his name there? Um, Litrin Shonen. Um, Litrin Shonen, the last of the uh, Buddhists that you know look like us in Japan. Uh, the one they credit that came up with the chant um, "No More Renge Cho," meaning "Break the Curse Upon Us." And when I think about that, I, I don't chant it, but I thought about. Uh, I think about that, and I think how um, I think about Deuteronomy, the curses of Deuteronomy twenty-eight, and um, any other curse that would be put upon us, the curse of confusion that David talks about. Um, I think about that, you know, and, and you know something else too. Lichen Shonen, one of his teachings was that uh, you are supposed to learn the laws wherever you move, wherever you move to a, a place you're unfamiliar with, move to a new country, a new state, a new town. Lichen Shonen teaches that you're supposed to learn the laws. He, he says, don't fellowship with the people. Don't, you know, congregate. Don't take your teachings to the people. Learn their laws and then go about and, and teach. I thought, man, you know, look at us now. Look at how many of us are, are into trying to decipher the difference between laws, statutes, codes, statutes at large, maritime law, you know, um, What's the canon law, common law, you know, all that, right? And uh, the Levitical laws. So it's been something, you know, when I read that verse now, I think about that, you know. I, I think about, you know, I know, you know, we're meditating on the Lord's law, so that's, you know, our Levitical laws. But I also think about, like, how we were supposed to do that from the start. And then, you know, what's the, what's the funny um one of the funny lines they always talk about the Jewish people, the Ashkenazi. But don't they always mention that uh, you need a good lawyer? You know, get a Jewish lawyer. Why? Because they literally play the part, right? They they learn the laws, or they know all the codes and they know how to manipulate them. So literally, we were supposed to always be that way. Uh, and uh, and he shall be like a tree which is planted. Near the running waters, and shall bring forth its fruit in due season, and his leaves shall not fall off. Um, and all whatsoever he shall he shall prosper. Nor so the wicked. Not uh, not sorry, not so the wicked, not so. But like the dust which the wind driveth from the face of the earth, therefore the wicked shall not rise again in ju judgment, nor sinners in the counsel of the just. For the Lord knoweth the way of the just, and the way of the wicked shall perish. And I always think about What's his name? Uh, King Solomon. Because I always thought it was interesting when you read in, what was it? Um, when you read the women that King Solomon was not supposed to marry, uh, he lists the Egyptian as one of them, right? But Joseph was able to marry the Egyptian. And he gave us what? Ephraim and Manasseh. And I always thought, you know, why was it okay for one but not the other? Like the creator doesn't contradict himself. You know what I mean? 
and it was the very first, next verse after the Lord gives all the women that King Solomon was not to marry with. He gives the reason why, because they would end up turning his heart away from the Creator, and that's what it reminds me of here in, in verse, you know, five here, because Joseph, he was able to marry the high priest's daughter, right? And he still stayed committed and true to the Creator. He still, you know, walked in the path of the just. And I, and so it's just, it's, you know, to me, I find that interesting. You know, like, he knew what one can handle, what the other one couldn't. And I'm not saying, you know, you know, defy the Creator's, you know, commands. But I just thought that was interesting. Let's see. Why have the Gentiles raged and the people devised vain things? The kings of the earth stood up and the princes met together against the Lord and against, well, there's Christ, but we know that's not the word that's supposed to be there. So what, would, what word would be there? The kings of the earth rose up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, see, so yeah, it should be anointed. His anointed one is anointed. Yeah. Uh, against the Lord and his chosen king. Against the chosen king. Seems to be that they're rising up against uh, his anointed. And to me, it seems like it's meaning his people in general. But there are those that say his anointed one. But when it seems to be there's anointed one, they're trying to point that towards Christ. And while I'm not sure if this is a psalm from King David, but I don't think he would be writing about. Let us break their bonds asunder. And let us cast away their yoke from us. He that dwelt in heaven shall laugh at them, and the Lord shall deride them. What is this? Deride. Yeah, I thought so. Deride them. Then shall he speak to them in his anger and trouble them in his rage but i am appointed king by him over sion sion in peru sion in what was it, the other one there was a sion in peru sion in hong kong and there's a sion if i remember correctly in tennessee his holy mountain preaching his commandment. And the Lord hath said to me, Thus art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And you see, that's his, to me, that's where they grab that Jesus stuff and they try to put it toward him, being anointed, being his begotten, and stuff like that. Ask of me, and I will give thee the Gentiles for thy inheritance and the ut utmost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt rule them with a rod of iron, and shalt break them in pieces like a potter's vessel. And now, O ye kings, understand, receive instruction, that uh, you that judge the earth Serve thy serve ye the Lord with fear and rejoice unto him with trembling. Embrace discipline, 
see when you the stuff reads like the stuff you read from like, like I said the, the Lichen Shonen you when you read the stuff of the Lotus Sutra um, mm, like the Lotus Sutra they give an example I'll give you an example men you know and women we, we suffer from lust at times right we it's one of the things that we haven't mastered and one of the things that they use as an example is lust is a forest right uh the forest of lust is how they talk about it and you are supposed to navigate your way through the forest of lust others was uh you're supposed to cut down the forest of lust I didn't like the one cut down because I felt like uh, that could be misinterpreted or interpreted as a way that you're conquering whatever you see. When I feel like we're supposed to be learning to put these restraints on us if we have a weakness in those areas. Right? Uh, embrace discipline. Least at any time the Lord be angry and you perish from the just way. When his wrath shall be kindled in a short time, blessed are all they that trust in him. And you know, there was something about that verse there, about giving the Gentiles um, to King David as, uh, where was it? And verse 8, asked of, asked of me, and I will deliver thee the Gentiles for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. You know, I was I, I went back, I tried to find it. I, I knew I should have stopped there and recorded it when I found it. Um, but there was an article. I was I wasn't even looking for it. I was going through stuff about uh, Indians in and um, Massachusetts. Because I was trying to see you know, the, the I was trying to get to the bottom of the name Massachusetts. Um because I want to know if it had any relativity to um, Manasseh. And I was going through stuff. And there was a, one of the links I clicked on. It led me to a king, um, a blackamoor. Um, I don't know if it was Ireland. Or or some. it was just somewhere in Europe. I know that much. And I, the article um, I read about... This king, I was kind of confused um, in the reading. That's why I think I decided to let, let it be. But it was a, it was about a king, or a leader, a ruler at the time. But it had uh, and they drew an image of him. He was in um, they drew him completely, you know, blackened out. You couldn't tell if he had clothes on. You couldn't tell if he was dressed in royal robes or anything like that. He was completely blackened out, and he was just like a, a stick figure. And he had Europeans, or what we call Europeans, standing behind him. And you could make out their clothes, you know, their, you know, 15, 14, 15th century outfits and stuff like that. A whole grouping of them, men and women. They were all standing behind him. And he had an adversary in front of him that was dressed, you know, uh, with a sword, a hat with a feather in it and stuff like that. And it had something to do with him being betrayed by a friend. And, and the people rebelled against the, the Black of War or something like that. Um, I tried to find it for this video and I just couldn't, I don't remember what it was titled, but when I find it, I'm going to see if we can go over it to see if it has any, if it might relate anything to this verse, I'm not saying that that was King David, but I'm just saying, I, what made me stop and, you know, try to read it was the fact that here you have this, you know, dark figure and he has these people behind him when at the time you would never imagine that that was going on, you know, I mean, you read about that in the, 13 colonies here, oh, so-and-so, or Benjamin, whatever, was a, a, a Negro free man that led a rebellion, the first rebellion before the Boston Tea Party and stuff, such like that. But to find one in Europe, that's where I was like, oh, wait, wait, what's this? So, 